and welcome back to another exciting episode. <laughs> and yes, wasn't that wonderful? Weirdo, weirdo. Anyway, um, in this video, I'm going to go through all the cichlids in the shop, or most of them. Americans, Africans, I think there's some Malawi, Tanganyikans, Central and South American cichlids. Um, like red devils, they are cool little fish, which don't stay little. Um, but how nice to the red... Red hump? No, they're not red hump. They are gold dust geophagus. So that is them there. They are, there they are, there. They are spawning. Um, that was a couple of weeks ago, so I do have fry now. They hold them in their mouth and then release them. Um, so all going well. If they survive, I'll have a whole lot of gold dust geophagus available. They are really, really nice fish. Um, but message me on social media in a few weeks. I'll post a video, something like that. Anyway, let's go and look at some of the cichlids. So most of my tanks are about 20 years old, so I am currently upgrading because they are very, very old. Um, so in the next year or so, hopefully we will redo every single tank in the shop. Um, but there is a couple of big Texas cichlids in this tank here. Um, there is the female one in the log. She has fry currently. And there is Daddy Texas Cichlid at the back. Um, so usually we've got lots of these guys available. I think I'm currently sold out of Texas Cichlids, but they are a really cool, cool sort of Central American Cichlid. Um, great to go with bigger fish like tinfoil barbs, silver dollars, all that wonderful stuff as well. But we are starting with those guys. Um, really, really nice fish. So I'll have more of these available in the next week or so as well. Um, they do get huge, about the size of an Oscar. Uh, if you don't know what an Oscar is, it's a fish that's like 30, 40 centimeters long. Cotozoa. Um, so these are another Central American cichlid. Very hard to get on film, um, but they've just started colouring up. They are an awesome fish. Um, there's an adult male on the screen at the moment. Um, but yeah, they get really, really big, so 30 to 40 centimetres. Super impressive fish. Um, again, you probably just want one in a big tank on its own, or you want a group of other huge fish together. Um, but look how nice that one is in the middle. That's obviously a male that's just starting to colour up. But as they age, they get more and more colour with them. Again, a really, really impressive cichlid that we don't often get, but I think we've got about, about eight or nine left of these guys. And lots of red devils. So red devil cichlids are pretty awesome. So they will go bright red. So they are sort of born a brownie colour. Then they'll go patchy like a few of these ones in here. Then they'll go that pale lemon colour. They'll go orange and then they'll go a bright ready orange. Very few of them go bright, bright red. They're more of a dark orange like the one on screen, but really, really nice friendly fish if you want one fish in like a four by two or a six by two tank. They can get really, really big. So they'll get to the size of maybe 40 to 50 centimeters. And there are a few that are a little bit bigger, but most of them max out about that 30 centimeter size. But all around pretty awesome fish. And we just haven't had tons of baby red devils at the moment. They're only like $10 each as well. But a really, really good fish if you want one pet fish that will come right up to the tank like that. So yeah, interact with you, really cool personal fish and they color up really, really nice as well. I still have lots of um, King Kong parrots. So a King Kong parrot is a cross between a red devil and a parrot cichlid. So a parrot cichlid is a hybrid. Um, so these are a hybrid of a hybrid. <laughs> um, they do make really good pet fish because they interact with you. They've only got little tiny pointy mouths um, because they're a hybrid, um, but all around pretty cool fish. So they will get a decent size, but they won't get as big as a red devil. So just something different that um, we don't usually get in. Usually we get tiny little ones, but these ones are a decent size, maybe about 15 centimeters or so. So starting to already get their nice colors and bits and pieces. So they may keep that pattern or they may not. There's a couple of flower horns in here as well. There's a flower horn there. And that is another flower horn, which is a red devil hybrid. Angelfish are in fact cichlids, so they're South American cichlids. Um, uh, yeah, obviously not as aggressive as a lot of the other South American cichlids, or the bigger ones anyway. Uh, but uh, angelfish are pretty awesome little fish. Um, We've got quite a few different types currently. Uh, so uh, these ones are sort of medium sort of sized angels, I suppose you could say. So the body size is maybe, there's a black ghost knife fish. I keep forgetting there's a black ghost knife fish in this tank. Uh, but uh, these guys are probably around that sort of Oh, how big would you even say that was? That's maybe a eight centimeter diameter angelfish. Um, so they're pretty chunky. Orange head tapajos, which are those little tiny brown ones there. They're really pretty fish as they get bigger, around about that 15, 16 centimeter sort of size. And we've still got a few of these um, really nice red angels as well. So these angelfish are bred by Kirk. 
they will get a nice red hue to them. So sort of like the red devil angels, like the male was a red devil, if you haven't seen my last video, and the female was solid black. So half the babies ended up this color and the other half were black. So I still got a few of those available. They're only like $8.80 each, but the geophagus are really, really cool little fish as well. So a few of those guys left available, left available, available left. We've got them. Bandit cichlids, really nice fish. I kind of regret not taking a pair of these home. Very cool, peaceful, they're fine with bigger barbs and stuff like that. I've still got a few of these currently available. These are mature, so you can tell males and females. Hopefully we'll have some little ones again soon, but they're yeah, really pretty fish. Max out about that 10, 12 centimeter sort of size. Really nice though, look at that. Little mouth, so they're not gonna wipe out any of your fish. Aliotai are a Central American cichlid. They come from East Mexico and lovely colorful fish. Lots of pastel colors, speckles of light to them. They are one of the nicer, peaceful fish you can get. They'll max up around that 20, 25 centimeter size, so you can keep them with angelfish and larger tetras and barbs, but don't keep them with neon tetras or anything too small. Albino tiger oscus, pretty cool fish. I've also got some normal tiger oscus turning up late Friday this week. We've just currently sold out. There's also um, some red hump geophagus in this tank. Somewhere, there they are. So red humps are pretty peaceful little geophagus, a pretty fish as they mature. Obviously the Oscars will get huge and they get around that 30 to 40 centimeter sort of size. And it only takes about a year from five centimeters to grow to about 40 centimeters. Oscars are pretty friendly fish, they interact with you. Again, do better one fish per tank or a big group of other fish in a very big tank, like five, six foot plus sort of thing. But yeah, all around, really awesome fish. They will get much more red on them. So the little sort of orange markings you can see on them are gonna go a nice bright red. That's why they're called tiger oscars. And we have some African kilbensis. So these ones come from a lower pH than the Rift Lake Africans. So you can mix them with community tank fish. Um, there's a few albinos as well as commons in here. They max out at around that sort of six to eight centimeters. Males get a little bit bigger than females. Females get a really nice sort of peachy sort of colored pink belly to them. Very easy to breed as well. You only need a pair and somewhere for them to spawn. Yeah, mix them with most sort of community fish. They're not even gonna ne eat neons or anything like that. So that little brown guy there is a um, green terror. So they will color up and be a really nice fish as they get bigger. Green terrors do get kind of big. Another name for them is Riviatus or Gold Psalm. They are gonna get around that 20 to 25 centimeter size. And there's one on the screen at the moment, but that is what they look like when they're mature. So another very cool fish, but obviously you can't keep them with things like neons and that because they will get to that size where they can just swallow them. Albino convicts, super aggressive fish. So you don't want to mix them with anything except really big fish like big barbs and stuff like that, big catfish. They will even hold their own with Oscars and that, even though they max out at about that 8 to 12 centimetre sort of size. Super aggressive fish, but really fun to breed. Most parents will look after their babies. So they're really, really nice if you want something that's easy to breed. Look at the colour of that female. So females have got the really nice orange bellies to them, and the males are the bigger, buffier type ones that just went past there. Again, a sort of Central American cichlid, so neutral pH, slightly alkaline, and they will be happy. Lots of Jack Dempsey's available at the moment. They will get pretty big, and they are pretty aggro, but they colour up really nice. So they get the blue speckles that go through the whole entire fish. Yeah, easily going to get about that 20 to 25 centimetre size. Sometimes males can almost get about 30 centimetres, so they are a big, chunky fish. Really impressive. Go great with other big Central American and South American cichlids. So keep your pH around neutral again for these guys. But yeah, any bigger fish like silver dollars, tinfoil barbs, schooling fish to break up the aggression, they'll be fine. Um, that blue guy is an electric blue Akara. Another, again, another really pretty fish. They max out around that sort of 15 to 20 centimeter sort of size as well. So lots of these guys available, obviously. Very, very cool fish. Only a few Geophagus Chirapari left. Um, ignore the algae on my glass, I haven't had five minutes today, but they are very awesome. So geophagus pretty much means earth eater, which means they rummage through the sand and that of your tank. So these guys get around about that 25, 30 centimeter size again, but really, really pretty fish. German blue rams, another really, really peaceful dwarf community cichlid. So these are from South America, 
lovely little things. So they go a full rainbow color. You can mix them with any of the smaller peaceful community fish as well. Find of Corydoras cats, mini barbs, mini tetras, guppies, that sort of stuff. Both male and female will look after the babies like most cichlids. Really easy to spawn. You just need soft water, so low GH and low KH. They are really, really nice fish and they're just starting to color up. Still got to run about 10 of these left or so, but we do have more coming and going all the time. A few balloon rams left. So these are the same as the blue rams. They are just the balloon body shape to them. Slightly different color on these two. So they're starting to get their yellows and their oranges to them. But again, all around peaceful little community fish. Something different if you want a cichlid that interacts with you and interacts with each other. So they're a little bit smarter than just your common schooling fish. So they sort of see what's happening and do their own thing. But how cool is that? That is a lovely little fish. There's a few Lake Victorian fish, like these stripy ones in here. Um, so they are called Crimson Tides. They are a little bit aggro. They do need a high pH between that 7.8 and 8.5 range. The tangerine ones in there are an Alunacara, which is a peacock cichlid. They're a Lake Malawi cichlid. So Lake Malawi cichlids from Africa, they have a high pH. So you don't want to mix them with your normal community fish. They do a lot better with Rift Lake cichlids, which is Tanganyika, Malawi, and Victorian. So pretty cool fish. You want to keep them in numbers to stop the aggression though. Otherwise only a few in a tank are going to pretty much attack each other. So these guys here are albino blue dolphins. So they're a Malawi cichlid. There's one or two common blue ones in there. You can see just at the back trying to get to the food at the moment. Another really, really nice fish. They're going to max out about 20 centimeters or so. Again, being a Rift Lake cichlid, high pH. So between that 8 and 8.5. Nice big schooling fish. Safety in numbers so they don't attack each other. Bashadi are another Tanzanian cichlid. So high pH, even up to 9 with these ones. Stay small, really, really nice fish, awesome tail on them. They're not overly colorful, but they make up for it with the way they interact with all the other fish in the tank. They always stay around the rocks and generally are a cool looking fish. So great for most sort of rift lake tanks that don't have really big predators in there. Blue zebras or Pseudiotrophus are a Malawi cichlid. Again, high pH, these are all rift lake cichlids. So you want your pH nice and alkaline for them. Really striking blue, both males and females stay blue. Really easy to mix with most other bigger Malawi sick. The Acromus Azul, and there's a few different sort of Alunacaras in this tank, just random uh, peacocks, like that bright orange albino one. That's a really nice peacock. Um, hard to get the angle in this tank right, um, but you get the idea. So most of these gray fish will turn a really nice blue color as they age. I'll see if I can stick a male on the screen. Yeah, and that's what those grey ones with a couple of dots look like. The peacocks, which are the Alunacara, like these ones here, the tangerine peacocks, will just get more colour with age. So again, a nice peaceful Malawi cichlid. Safety in numbers, so if you have groups, they're less likely going to attack each other. So if you get a dominant cichlid in your tank, mix it with a few other cichlids and it usually evens out the aggression. And We have a few multi-shell dwellers, really pretty little fish. They max out at that 4.5, five centimeter size. They breed in snail shells. So these are tiny little snail shells, maybe about two centimeter diameter shells, shells, seashell shells by the shell shell. Um, something different if you've got a small tank, these are even fine in like 30 liter tanks to 50 liter tanks. Frontosa, they are another Tanzanian cichlid. One of the bigger Tanzanian cichlids you can easily get in Australia. They will max out about that 30, 40 centimeter sort of size. I'll put a big male one on the screen from our display tank. Really nice fish. So you can keep them with Malawi cichlids as well as Tanzanians, as long as your pH is that 8.5 and above. Striking blue and black stripes to them. But all around a really, really nice cichlid. Yeah, we've kept and bred them for years. There's a few different color varieties now, but yeah, every big African tank should have at least a couple of these guys in there. Bry fasciata, they're eating their black worms at the moment. These ones will turn a really nice blue color. Still got, I think about three or four pairs of these left. Really striking little dwarf cichlids. So perfectly fine for community tanks. These are a South American cichlid. So again, pH is opposite than all the Africans. So you want that 6.5, even down to six, up to seven sort of thing. So between six and seven, these guys will be fine. Both parents look after the young. They are really cool little fish for any nano tank or community tank. These will max out about that five to six centimeter sort of size. I still have a few Epistogramma agazizi fire gold left. 
Um, really striking little fish. Again, perfect for community tanks. They stay small, so under that five, six centimeter sort of size. I think we've mostly got males. There might be one girl left with these. Perfectly fine on their own, but how striking are they? They are a lovely little fish. Great for tetras, community fish and that pH between that sort of six and seven, so ideally 6.5, 6.8, and they will love your tank. Trying to attack some black worms there. So unfortunately I can't make these videos hours long because then no one would watch them. I know, I would watch them. Um, but anyway, if you like this video, please click the thumbs up and stuff like that and subscribe if you want to subscribe. I think there's a thing on the screen soon. But if you want 15% off all cichlids, you just have to use the code word number one. <laughs> number two still works in the last video. Um, yes, we're doing a number one, number two. Number two was only number two because it was box number two. You can leave your imagination of what number one is. But code word number one, you get 15% off all cichlids until this date here. Um, anyway, thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video. Unboxing soon.